Hey, this is Jared Wilburn, and this will be our first video on this channel. I'm going to do a deck profile over my Fiend deck. And as you can see, I have multiple other decks sitting around. This one right here is my Tune deck, if I can pick it up. Yeah. Let's just find one of the tunes. Uh, there it is. This is still a prototype deck I'm working on making it into a Tune deck. Ignore the mess. Um, this one, I am turning in. I'm working on an XZ's deck, and then this one over here is a Spellcaster deck. It is not primarily composed of Dark Magician, but that is the most recognized card I would could I would say that is in that deck. But as I said, we are doing the Fiend deck. I have, as you can see, I have these in multiple piles for different reasons. This is my Garbage Ogre and Garbage Lord, which with gar Garbage Ogre's effect, you can send him to the graveyard and get Garbage Lord into your hand. Using Garbage Ogre, it puts him in the graveyard, as well as multiple other of these weaker fiends I have sitting around here. Some of them not so weak, as you can see. Some of them are very recognizable, some of them are not so much. Used to get out one of my most valuable cards, which is now renamed to Dark Necrofear. I have the older version called Skeleton Loving Demon, if I can get the, there we go, the Glare. Which you banish three fiends from your graveyard to special summon him. As well as in this deck, I also have a Summoned Skull, a Grave Squirmer, which his effect is whenever he is destroyed, you destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Santa Claus, with summoning him, you can use one of your opponent's monsters. So you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in defense position by tributing one monster they control. If summoned this way during the end phase of this turn, you can draw one card. So he's always good for getting rid of monsters on your opponent's side of the field. And then Karibo, by tributing him, you get rid of any battle damage you would take that turn. And this deck down here is primarily for my... Where is he? Right there he is. Grafa Dragon Lord of Dark World. If, you can, if I can get the glare off of that one, I'm sorry about the glare. And with his effect, when he's sent to the graveyard, I can... Let me read that real quick, I'm sorry. You can special summon this card from your graveyard by turning one Dark World monster you control to the hand, except Grafa Dragon Lord of Dark World. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Then if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, look at one random card in your opponent's hand. Then if it was a monster, you can special summon it to your side of the field. But with him, I have these other Dark World cards to special summon him back from the graveyard. See, I already explained that. And since it's a Fiend deck, um, and I have that XZ's deck, I put a Fiend XZ's monster in here just for whatever reason, just to have it there. Also, as you can see, I mostly have monsters in my deck, which is how most of my decks are composed of, seeing how this is all the spells and trap cards I have. Sorry, I didn't realize y'all couldn't see that. There we go. Um, let's see if there's any more of the monsters I need to go over real quick. See, with Wing Minion in here... Offer this face-up card as a tribute select, to select one Fiend monster and increase its attack and defense by 700 points as long as it remains face-up on the field. Theme of Nightmare, while you have no cards in your hand nor in your spell and trap card zone, is card gains 1500, which is already at 1500 as you can see, putting it at 3000. Beast of Tower, Grave Protector, while this card is face-up on the field, monsters that are destroyed as a result of battle are returned to the owner's deck. Which is very nice whenever you have some decent monsters out there, but they, but your opponent still has better monsters. You can put them back in the deck instead of to the graveyard. Um, then just a few other random ones out here. Um, let's see, this one right here is a good one. I'm just going to shorthand that effect because you can see that's a rather long one. Basically what it does, if your opponent attacks, does a direct attack with this card in your hand twice, you can play it and it gains the attack of the first monster that attacked. Um... Big Eye, I'm sure most of y'all know the effects. Flip and see the top card, top five cards and arrange them in any order. Yeah, nope, that's... Yellow Dustin, you can send... When it's destroyed, you can put... Hold on. Not be attributed. When this card on the field is destroyed, the controller targets one monster in the graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck. And not that big of a deal. If you, as you can see, plenty of weak monsters there. Steigen, weaker monster, good for dealing damage if they don't have anything on their side of the field. No big deal. As far as the spells and traps, I have Soul of the Pure, which is for uh, getting life points and 800 life points. Axe of Despair gives one monster 1,000 attack. Let's see, Mirror Force declares an attack. When an opponent declares attack, destroy all monsters. This one to get rid of a trap card. 
if they have you outnumbered with mods, you just go ahead and get just suicide all of them, get rid of everything. Tribute to the Doom to get rid of stuff on their side, as well as Smashing Ground destroys one monster on your opponent's side of the field with the highest defense. I'm sure most of you already know most of these effects. I don't know why I'm reading over them. That this one I mainly have in there just as a space keeper. That way I have 40 cards in this deck. I don't think I have very many other good cards sitting around. Giant Trunade, I'm sure most of y'all know, and Karma Cut. Um, anything else I need to go over about this deck? As I said, my Skeleton Loving Demon is now renamed to Dark Necrofear. It would be one of my most prized cards by far, simply because it's a much older card. Um, and as I said at the beginning of this video, this is one of many videos to be posted here. There, With me and my friends... We will do battles, we will do different deck profiles, deck strategies, um, anything else y'all would like, feel free to put in the comments. As you see, the, most of my decks are 40, the only one that's not 40 cards is the XZs, and it's sitting at like 55, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I will also do a deck profile over the rest of these decks later on in, at a later point in time, as well as I might even go over the extra cards I have sitting around. I have plenty of cards for trading with friends. You'll see us do a lot of different things. Anyways, um, appreciate it if you subscribe, comment, anything else you'd like. Thank you. See you later.